Ms. Latos, I don't see you on the docket today. Were you, did you think you were on the docket? I was, I was supposed to talk about um, employment, getting a job. We're, we're gonna check and see when you're next up on the docket. I'm so sorry, uh, uh, Judge. Okay, you're here next week, uh, May the 4th at 9 a.m. Okay, we'll All see right. you next week then. All right, you have Lakers. a great one. You too. Good to see you. Bye-bye. All right, I think that's it. Uh, all right, next is uh, Hills versus Latos. I see Ms. Latos, and I thought I saw... Uh, I'm Hilt. here. I'm working on my other my camera. Okay, uh, that's fine. Hi. All right, I think we're uh, back here to determine um, what we're going to do, I guess, with the child support that's ordered. Um, and I know Ms. Hiltz has asked for a requirement that Ms. Latos pay $1,000 a month. Ms. Latos had provided um, documents from her work indicating that she, some of her um, wages are garnished at this point. Um, and so Ms. Hiltz, why don't, why don't you um, summarize exactly what um, you're wanting the court to do at this point? Well, we were here last month. Um, she was held in contempt um, for not paying. She stated that she was moving to Las Vegas to try and find a job with a poker dealer down there. Um, and then you set this over to check on her employment status is my understanding. Um, I'm not, what do I want the court to do? I, I want you to issue a bench for it. That's what I want. Um, I don't think that short of a warrant for her arrest, we are going to get her to comply. She has, we are separated for four years now, sir. She has been two years of failing to comply with any court orders without any repercussions. She continually gets civil penalties to which she never pays. She gets judgments that she never pays. She has child support that she doesn't pay. I haven't had any child support this month or last month. And yet she continues to hold up my life in court. If she really doesn't want to be a part of this, she needs to just relinquish her rights and get and, and walk away so that I don't have to come to the court for everything and I can live my life as I see fit. Um, otherwise, I want her to get a job and pay child support and do what she's supposed to do, get drug and alcohol treatment, get therapy, do whatever she's got to do um, to be a healthy, active participant in life. All right, thank you. Ms. Latos, uh, any response? Um, yes, and I don't know, she mentioned drug and alcohol treatment, but she was the one that lost her foster care license for smoking marijuana with a foster child. Um, I, I don't see, uh, I, I, I don't have the finances to smoke marijuana anymore. Uh, I have a job lined up at the end of this month to deal at the WSOP, the World Series of Poker with um, Caesars Entertainment. Uh, I'll be dealing at the Rio, and um, I mean, I I do what I can. There hasn't been much in the way of payments for a while, except for what was garnished, right? Correct. I, I've only been able to pay what's garnished. And How many days is the um, job at the World Series of Poker? It, it will be three months, and hopefully I'll get on permanent afterwards. Do you know well, about two and a half much, months. you know how much you'll be making uh, um, while you're there? I expect it is um, minimum 
Well, it's a little over minimum. I think it's $12 an hour plus tips. And I really hope to make some big money on tips. I'm hoping to average uh, 20 to $30 an hour. Is it full-time or part-time? Uh, it says part-time, but from what I've heard from the other dealers, I should have no problem getting 40 hours. That starts when? Uh, the end of May. They haven't given me an exact date, but the World Series, I believe, starts uh, that last Monday in May with an industry event. Ms. Hiltz, any uh, response? Only to the comment she made about the foster care, just because this is on the record. She's referencing an incident that's over 20 years old that isn't true. Um, that's it all. is. Just, it's, you know, I, I, just, this, you know, this, I realize it's completely here. irrelevant, but it's, it's still being live streamed on YouTube. So I just need to make it clear that that's not factual and it's again. All right, the, this hearing um, right, I know. has nothing to do with that. I know. Well, here's the um, kind of box we're in. If I issue a bench warrant and Ms. Latos is arrested, that's going to prevent her from uh, earning income that can possibly go to Ms. Health. And that, that's okay with me, honestly. Okay. I'm like, it's not like I'm getting it anyways. Um, and uh, I, I firmly believe this is the only thing that is going to get her to act. You can do whatever you want, but until an officer picks her up and somebody has a, a, your a honor? bail set, she's not going to comply with your orders. Your Honor. All right, briefly. Your Honor. Go ahead. A bench warrant would also pr uh, prevent me from probably, I'm not sure, but they do background checks on poker dealers and a bench warrant would probably prevent me from having that job. Then you should pay your child support. All right. We're not going to talk to each other. I pay what I can. This minute, we're not going to talk to each other. All right. So anyway, I described the, the concern I have. I think my main goal is not to put people in jail on this docket. It is to try to get the child support paid. Okay, so um, here's what I'm going to do. Let me look at what date I want to go to here. And I have one more question, Your Honor. Let me. When let me can finish. I have? Con okay. Let me finish first. Okay, sorry. All right, I'm going to put this over to June 22nd. On by June 15th. Ms. Latos is to pay $1,000 to Ms. Hiltz. My thinking there is that's going to give you a couple weeks uh, working at the World Series of Poker, making tips. I'm thinking you'll make, you'll make the $1,000. If you do that, then we'll bump this over to the next month. You'll owe another $1,000 the next month. If you haven't paid the $1,000 by June 15th, and let me be clear here, that means Ms. Hiltz has to receive it. So somehow you need to, to make sure she's got it. If you haven't paid it by um, June 15th, when we're here on June 22nd, I will issue a bench warrant. Okay? No and problem. So that is the, and then we'll track these payments for a couple months um, because I, again, the goal here is to get some child support paid. All right. All right. I, I, and I do have a question before we leave. Sure. When do I get to see the boys? Well, I've not seen uh, them in a long you, time. You'll have to look at the orders that were entered by judge Evans, I think in mid April. And okay. uh, that will lay out what your, um, how that will work. Okay. Thank you. All right. I will get, thank you. All right. So we see you back here on June 22nd. All right. Thank you.
Thank you. All right, thank you. I think that's it. Yep. I'm gonna deny your, your motion. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Do I gotta do anything? Or do you just get off? Ms. Latos, you wanna unmute yourself? Ms. Latos, um, you're not on the docket today. I don't, I'm not sure when you come back to the docket, but I, I just wanted you to be aware of that. Just a minute. We're looking to see when your next court date is. Uh, your next court date is June 22nd at nine o'clock. I think that's next week. Okay, we'll see you next week. Thank you. I think I did skip one. But, uh, Latos and Christine Latos. I saw um, Ms. Hiltz is here, and I think I also saw. I thought I saw Ms. Latos here. Ms. Hiltz, um, you were to receive a $1,000. Um, by a couple of days ago, and have you received that? Yes, sir. All right. Um, I want to. So I'm going to read my bench order of uh, May 7th, 2023. Uh, it says, Christine Latos is ordered to make a $1,000 payment towards back child support by June 15, 2023. The payment must be received by that date. If the payment is not received, Ms. Latos will be held in contempt of court and a bench warrant will be issued. And we set the review date for today. Correct. Um, so the representation is that uh, the amount has not been paid. I don't see uh, Ms. Latos is here. So um, Ms. Hiltz, out of an abundance of caution, it's 9.07. I'm going to come back to this case at 9.15 to see if she appears. Um, and then uh, if not, then I'll make an order consistent with my last order. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Ms. Hiltz, uh, you're still here. Did you have an additional question? Uh, no, you said you were going to hold us over to see if. Oh, I'm sorry. Up. That's, That's why. okay. <laughs> yes, I, I, I probably is more than 15 minutes now. It, well, all right. So, the um, short docket. Ms. So, <laughs> Ms. Latos uh, has not appeared. Thank you for waiting. I appreciate it. So I will uh, enter a bench order indicating that I find her in contempt and we're going to issue a bench warrant. I'm going to set bail at $1,000 on the bench warrant. Okay. I know that's not all you're owed, but that's what I'm going to set it oh, at this point. I mean, I, I don't know what the next step is. So there we go. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks for waiting. And that will be it on this.